Hey everybody, it's Dean DeCosta, The Search Authority, and today this is going to be a long post because we're going to talk about bookmarklets. First thing is my homage to Glenn Guckmacher, who is the bookmarklet godfather. That's what I call him anyway. And I'm going to get you to his site so you can see it, so you know what we're looking at. And this is his site. It is recruiting-online.com. Um, I am in the bookmarklet section already where it explains a whole bunch of stuff, bookmarklet combining, and a whole way to download a bunch of bookmarks, a whole bunch of stuff. So first thing we're going to do before we, we go too far is – so bookmarklets are kind of like um, – favorites they're in a way they're almost mini apps in some ways um depending on what kind of bookmark you have some just open a site uh some actually do something so it kind of depends um but as you can see here on on, on um, glenn's site he makes it clear there it's kind of like a a favorites or or bookmarks on steroids as he put it i kind of put it somewhere between a bookmark and a, an extension or app it's some it's that place right in between there's javascript involved so it's a little different so you can download a bunch here so we're going to show you a few um i have created a few i've downloaded a few i'm not going to mention which ones are which i'm just going to show you a few so let's start with this one here you notice i have a place for all these which is bookmarklets and the first thing i'm going to do is, is kind of go through a few of these so so you got bookmarket combiner this is a site that can help you combine bookmarklets. Sometimes you got two bookmarklets, you put them together, you can do some really, really, really cool things. This is where you can combine them. As you can see, there are some actually already sitting here ready to rock um, for different things, full contact, Twitter, full contact, whatever the case may be. Um, in addition to that, we've got several bookmarks that are already here that you can see a whole bunch of. So like this particular one, pop-up block. So we're going to go ahead and always allow this pop-up. Uh, and then we're going to do it again. I do have some pretty good uh, security on this particular computer. And, and some of these may not even work anymore. Okay, so that one is not an actual bookmark anymore. Uh, so let me get into a few here that I know for a fact are legit write up bookmarks so one of the things you can do is you can from glenn's site you can download this batsa bookmarklets and when you open it you get all these different bookmarks so one of them is the who is search now what does this do it just op you put in a domain and it will get you the who is information or it will open who is and get you the information uh so there's that one there are several in here. I'm just going to go through them all real, real, real quick. So you have that one. You have an email, email formatter one. You have an email testing one. You have a finding a zip code for an LIR profile, LinkedIn recruiter. Uh, find zip code for this address and, and a whole bunch. I don't want to go into all, all of them because it would be kind of a waste of time. I'm going to show you one. This one is fine. U.S. Microsoft MVPs by keyword. So if I put in here and I put in... Um, Let's go with C sharp as my example, and I push OK. What it's going to actually do is open up the MVP site, having already put in the C sharp word, and find me all the C sharp MVPs. Now, you can go to the MVP and do it, but then you have to do it this way. You have to open it, then search, then put then put in what you want, then search. Here, you just put in what you want, search, it opens it up for you. So it's a little quicker. And in the end, book markets are about, like anything, is about ROI and saving time. And that's what we want to make sure that we've got down. So let me uh, open this up. There is another book market that I have in here that I really, really like that I use quite a bit. Um, let me see. It's just LI Quick Search. And what it does is it opens up the ability to do a quick search in LinkedIn. Now, uh, if I did this search, which I'm not going to, I would go ahead and do it. It would open up LinkedIn and there would be my search. So that that's pretty cool. There are a number of others in here that I like. Um, you got the, the GitHub email finder, which is basically, oops, sorry, I have to be in a uh, Google search for this. Um, not all of them are like that, but the, most of the ones I have, you have to be in a Google search area for it to work because it all works off of that. So this is at the GitHub email. Um, you go on a GitHub profile and it will find the email address for you. So in my case, this case, it needs to be on GitHub. Um, and, and basically it just uses, what it'll do is it'll take their username from the profile and find the email address for you based on that, which can be done. There's extensions that do it, but this is a good way to do it too. Um, let's see what else we have here that is really good. There's one in here, um, for LinkedIn email, which basically you just enter an email address and what it'll do is it'll try to see if that matches the LinkedIn profile. So let's do one of mine, just to see if we're going to do my Hotmail one. I don't worry about it because everybody can find me. I'm easy to find. We're going to go here. Oh, I have to be signed in. 
my bad. Keep forgetting everything. You got to be signed in to do anything in LinkedIn these days. So let me go ahead and, and break the rules and do something and sign in. I do not stay signed in LinkedIn. The reason I do not stay signed in LinkedIn is because if you're signed into LinkedIn, LinkedIn can monitor pretty much everything you do. And I am not a proponent of Big Brother watching me. So let's go ahead and do this again. I don't have to be on LinkedIn, just got to be signed into LinkedIn, so I'm going to actually get out, even though I see I do have some things I need to do. Um, so let's go ahead and get back in here and do the same email. one. Well, basically what it's doing, it's trying to match up to see if you have a, if an email address has a LinkedIn profile. That's all it's doing. Just, hey, is this email on LinkedIn? Okay, go, and it opens up, and there I am. That's all it really does. I mean, which is not bad. Don't get me wrong. If you're finding a bunch of emails, you want to know, hey, do they have a LinkedIn profile? If you got a bunch of emails of people who attended the conference, you might want to say, hey, are they on LinkedIn? Um, so there you go. So there's a bunch of them in here. I'm not going to go through them all. What I am going to go through is the whole idea of making the um, the the bookmark. So first of all, you got to be able to program in JavaScript a little bit. I am not going to go into how to program in JavaScript. You can find... Um, um, bookmarklets already pre-made the javascript for them you can go on github and find a boatload of them. i'm not going to get into all that i'm just going to show you a couple easy ways to make them so one of the easiest ways to make them uh that works really well is to go into your bookmark and go into your bookmark manager and up here where it says add new bookmark you go here you type the name and you put in the actual code and it creates a bookmark. In fact, that's how I made several of my bookmarks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this and I'm going to grab one. Um, ba, 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 ba. Where is that LinkedIn one that I just used? Because that one's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and um, do, 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 do. I'm going to go ahead and in here, actually, I'm going to go ahead and open it. Uh, bookmarklets so that I can see it. And uh, LinkedIn, LinkedIn, connection request, GitHub search, boom, 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 dot com search, recruiter search. As you can see, I have a lot of them. OK, here's this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to go open. We're going to go here and edit this. So here's all the code that goes to this particular extension. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to cancel, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up here and show you. So I'm going to add new bookmark. In this case, we're going to put this as a test. That's all I'm doing is I'm going to call it test because, frankly, I'm just showing you. And I'm going to push this, and I'm going to push save. And what's going to happen is it's right there. Now what happens is when I go up here to my bookmarklets because it's in that folder, and I go all the way to the bottom, it's right there. And normally I normally it'll work. I may not have copied all of the um, all of the uh, bookmarklet information, but we're going to assume I did. Let's try it here. Yeah, I may not have copied it all. I may have missed missed off a little piece. Um, so let's go ahead and do it again. Let's go ahead and delete this delete this one. And let's go do it again to try to get it done right. Like sometimes it's really tough to get all of the um, bookmarklet information. Uh, edit. Because it's a lot. I mean, this code is not simple. This is a lot of code. And you have to go all the way to the end. And we got to copy it. Let's copy it. Let's get out of here. And let's go ahead and go up here again. Add new bookmarklet. Let's add it in here and make sure it's there. Let's go ahead and just put test again. Save. And now let's get out of the entire browser. Because odds are, there's a chance that maybe the browser needs to be restarted and 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 this is how i just created the one bookmark that i did as you can see it's the same thing i did up in the original um let's go ahead and go into oops excuse me search and it looks like i may and it could be because i've already got the bookmark that's not allowing me to create it twice so let's see yep nope there it is see it's right there it works um that's how you do it uh it's really that's that's one of the simplest ways to create a bookmark now there's another way and i'm going to show you that in a minute too let me get into this and delete this because i hate having duplicate stuff delete so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and come over here and show you another way to connect to um to create a bookmark and i'm going to go to a place called mccall's bookmark and basically what you do is you type in the java there you give it the name there and you convert to a bookmark so if i was to do this i would type in the java I'm just going to call it test, convert to bookmark, and there it is. And all I would need to do is copy and pull this up here, and it would work. So there's that way. Me personally, I just soon just cut and paste it into the uh, bookmark area and be done with it rather than using another program. But either way, it works. So I'm not going to 
you know, I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, there's a site called Help Cross, uh, CrossBrowseTesting.com, live testing, blah, 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 blah. You can see it up there where he explains what I just told you, maybe even a little better than me, and, and, and shows you how to do it. Um, same process. Um, I knew how to do it before I saw it here, but same process. It doesn't matter. And you can add them to Internet Explorer or Edge in this case or to Google Chrome. It really doesn't matter either way. So if I open up the new Edge, which, by the way, is awesome because you can add Chrome extensions, as you can see, and I come up here, you'll see I have a place for bookmarklets, and they're all here. Um, I have access to the complete uh, – let me get into the right area here. Um, let me get into the search column, get into my Google search, and now let's get up to the bookmarklets thing and go down here to the BTA, blah, 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 and there they all are. So they work even in – Edge, we don't use Internet Explorer. The advantage with this tool, and I've already done a video on it, is the fact you get to use your Chrome extensions, and it's pretty darn fast. So there you go. That's it. Long story short, that's book markets. The key here is simple and easy. They do a lot of cool stuff and get to um, get to uh, um, Glenn Guckmacher's site uh, right here. Uh, again, www.recruiting-online.com slash bookmarklets. And he's got a boatload of them. Almost all the ones you saw I have, not all, but probably 80% of them came from him. And then there's another, there's probably 10% I created a couple myself. And then there's probably 10% I got from other places. And you can actually find them. Go on GitHub, look up bookmarklets. There's boatloads of them. Get on... Um, Anywhere and look from. Now, the key is this, though. If you're going to go on a place like GitHub or some site you may not be like, hmm, make sure you have security on your browser. I highly recommend, and I wrote a, did a blog about it, 360 Internet Protection, because it will protect you from all this silly stuff. Um, it's really good. And then make sure you have other stuff on your computer. Of course, I do. Um, a lot. So there you go. That's it. Long story short, uh, this was Book Markets. My name is Dean DaCosta, the Search Authority. May the source be with you.